Hello everyone, my name is Evolon and welcome to another episode of Stories of Pixels and Cop. In today's video, we are going to discuss and tell the story of one of the coolest game out there, actually, Last Train Home. But before everything, I really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and actually ring the bell to be notified for my next video. And let's dive to the video. The game is a real-time strategy RPG game by Ashbourne Studio and published by THQN. Developed by Unreal Engine 4 and now exactly now the video is publishing its half 34 persons off in Steam. You can buy it and then download it and enjoy it. So the story of the game begins at 1918 after the great war. Czechoslovak legions are inside Russia and they want to come back home. The war War one has been ended and the legions want back to the Czech Republic. So they want to come back home and Russia is in civil war. Red army versus white army. Red army is actually Bolsheviks. Like the main quest of the game is road to the west is closed and they have to go on to the east across the Siberia and then they actually embark with ship to their homeland. One of the coolest part of the game, actually the whole situation of the game is, you know, you feel that you are inside the story. And the story, it's been a long that, you know, such a story didn't get me like that. But the story is based on reality. The whole aspect is based on reality, but not fully accurate because they didn't want to create an accurate story, just wants to, you know, to have a moving experience. It's a whole part of the story. But the game itself, it's just like this war of mine. When I first think that crossed my mind was this war of mine, the experience of survive and gather hold the groups together and stay alive together and go move to the actual next point there's very similarities in the graphics this part of mine was 2d but the, this one is a strategy and up to down but, but you know what I'm talking whole vibe is similar but in this one you are more on the move you start from a point i don't want to spoil the game uh, you start from a point and you know you have a terrain you know you have a terrain to manage the the elements of management of the terrain your soldiers and actually put everyone on uh, shifts the train has some kind of car there's some car just for infantry to rest imagine we have a storage car we have the locomotive at the first every single one of them needs someone to manage you can uh, give duty to your soldiers you know in day shift and night shift to handle all the situation together if you want to upgrade any of your cars you have you know to assign soldiers or actually workers to that actually there's kind of role in the game engineers medics cooking oh you talked to me yeah <laughs> i got you bro the game is on pause how you can't talk wow weird so <laughs> the whole vibe of the game is to manage your resources to manage your troops and hold them and you are moving forward with your train and in the way you will have some obstacles you have to go side side quest you go to the village you trade something uh, you scavenge something food or resources or fuels for your locomotives to go further and further and maybe your train will dock or maybe your locomotive broke and you have to repair it and you have you need to assign engineers to do that every single part of that is actually authentic i love to see every single upgrade that you can do to do every car you know first of all your cars are, are empty and then you have to you know actually add the stove add beds add everything every single element you have to add to it survive because siberia is damn cold and you have to stove for every car which soldiers are resting or you have to you know first aid kit or med kits for your soldiers when and they got injured you have to handle your soldiers and then one, one another amazing thing that uh, when you are going through uh, you see that oh there's a village out there you assign a squad of your soldiers of your soldiers you know you choose who oh oh you you were last night you were on the shift okay you rest lieutenant x and a you too 
Go out there, go out there, find something useful for us. You're actually managing the whole system and whole things together for a purpose, which is actually, I don't know why is so familiar for me. I think I'm, you know, I think it's happened to my country's history, but it's not, you know, the damn cool storytelling of the game, you know, you will feel the story and feel the obstacles by yourself. And that's a huge thing and huge thanks to Ashbourne Studio for that they have guaranteed the artworks are amazing and all other stuff are amazing you have a full map which is uh, you know where you come from and you have to go to the actually b point every mission have some side quests you have you know there's a lake over there you can go and search if there's a fish you can use as your resources or you can you know there's a Gorodna right there and you go find them and there's oh and you contact Bolsheviks you know some gunfights maybe you lose some soldiers and so you have to decide whether you want to do something or not every single angle of the management of the train actually I think there have they put so much time and effort to handle and manage such a game I enjoyed very much first few hours of playing the game I enjoyed very much that's a game. So next part is the creators of the game. As we have in every single episode of Stories of Pixels and Code, we talk about the creators in the last part. The creators of the last train home, Ashbourne Studio. They're located in the Republic of Czech. A story of the creation very actually, I don't want to go down deep. Fast story. So in like in 2019, they met uh, THQN and they decided to let's create in a game studio and you know, work on some games together. That's the decision here, actually, from 2019 up to now. You know, one of, one of the coolest part was uh, the fact which uh, THQN decided, okay, you can come here and have, you know, your office and you can work with us, was the fact that they had been working together. The being a group and working together from past was the point that uh, THQN can, could trust. I don't know, okay, you had to work. Yeah, done jobs together. So okay, I can trust you. Come here and you know build your games. After a few months of brainstorming, forming I know every time I mention this for a solo developer, you sit down there and say, Okay, I can create a game so my game carrier should be this and in this genre and it should be real time or not or so you decided by your own or you brainstorming by your own but brainstorming as a team is something else you know every single member have to have some idea build the whole thing not the whole group is solid one, just one member you know just do the whole the talking stuff or no no actually few months have been taken for Ashbourne game to just take the names you know they talked for a few months just take the name the right name for themselves the original idea of the last train home was actually came from their you know high schools when they read about the stories of Czechoslovakia of legionnaires you know they read the stories and you know that's really cool the creating a whole story as a game so you know up to date the game is out there and you know they reach the dream together so if you go and reach their website one of the main parts of their you know, being a friendly and being a family together to free your creativity to create something epic i really suggest you go down there and download it at steam and enjoy the game and actually write your ideas down i really enjoyed this game Mm, I don't know, I, I can say more than, but I enjoy the game as, as equal as this war of mine. But you know, you have the vast options in this game, you have, you can do anything, actually. <laughs> I love this game and actually thank you everyone for being with me in, in this episode to talk about Last Train Home. So everybody, thank you. I really appreciate it if you, you know, click the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for my next video and actually leave your ideas in the comments i really enjoy reading that i will answer every single one of your comments and if you enjoyed the video like the video and wish me good luck because i wish you good luck Evelyn here